Maximum five customers. Yeah, because that was the day that Lisa phoned in sick. I could read it as soon as I answered. She'd ended up at Jamal's and couldn't bear the glare from the strip light. I'd left early so that I could enjoy a quiet coffee at Friendly Calf, but I gave three pounds to a guy outside the town hall and then had rare spare time but no spare change. And I cursed myself as he skipped along to food and wine. Ah, yeah, I remember because we'd only been open about ten minutes. The clouds burst open like a slashed sack of rice and you couldn't even see the chewing gum on the pavement. Two individuals and one pair. In three different languages, they informed me about the rain, as though I was stood here in flamingo trunks in a blindfold. Only one sale. Some milky bar buttons. But plenty of browsing. Always. Yeah. That was the busiest. I stick the poster up in the window. Maximum five customers. And a poster feels as futile as the rest of it. My name is Matt Abbott from the Nymphs and Fugs uh, record label. Welcome to this week's Insta session. Um, I'm very excited to be joined by uh, Jasmine Gardozzi today. Um, some of you will know that I've been doing these sessions for the last couple of months. I started at the start of May. Um, it's been really enjoyable for me uh, during lockdown. Um, and I think it's been enjoyable for other people as well. We've had some really wonderful sessions. I've managed to program poets from all over the UK. And uh, Joshua Dehen joined us uh, from Sweden last week. So, um, yeah. Uh, and tonight we've got uh, Jasmine Gardozzi. So, uh, Jasmine is a multiple slam champion. She was a Birmingham uh, Poet Laureate finalist um, and a recent winner of the Outspoken Prize for Poetry. Uh, she's appeared on BBC Radio 3's The Verb and BBC Radio 4. She's performed at Glastonbury, Tate Modern and on Button Poetry. Uh, she's a lead brief Poetry Festival trustee, um, poet in residence at the Bronte Parsonage Museum and her debut pamphlet, Hertz, was published by award-winning Verve Poetry Press last May. Um, so, I am going to invite Jasmine to join the call. She's Biog. She's a wonderful poet. She's a wonderful person. And I'm really looking forward to see what she does tonight um, on this Insta session. Hey. Hello. Hey. This is Hi. scary. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Good job on the no, bio. Oh, cheers. Oh, hey guys. Hey, Beth. Hey, Talia. What's up? Oh, so nice of you to join us. This is cool. I'm I'm speaking to you, Matt, but I'm speaking to my laptop. I know, but not my laptop. It. Like, my, my phone propped up on my laptop, you know? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like, you know, you know when you got your laptop? Liz, right? And it's like that, right? Cause, and then you can like do this and that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, but if you've got like, you're propping it up on like books or something and then you want to move it, then, then it, it goes like, Wah! and then you're like, oh shit. And you got to like change it. Oh my gosh, Lacan is here. Lacan's watching from um, Philippines. Uh, oh, what wow. time is it? Wow. What what time is it over there? Because I swear it's like ridiculous o'clock, um, no, and I just no, I, I just love that. I think it's on a really like what seven hours, like later than it's, us. So that's yeah, twenty five three in the morning. Three in the morning. <sighs> that's some love of poetry. Let's applaud that. Uh, how you doing, Matt? Um, yeah, um, good, yeah. Nice. 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 Same as a lot of people are spoiled, like, 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 I've been comfortable, I've been very comfortable, very comfortable. So, yeah, what about so, yourself? Yeah, what about yourself? Yeah, same. Uh, that's one of the biggest feelings, like, fortunate, you know what I mean? Um, fortunate, like, comfortable, so much, like, stuff going on, but um, I think that's one of the biggest feelings, just being really lucky. Really, really lucky. I've had a lot of lockdown epiphanies. Don't know about you. <laughs> Have you had yeah. any lockdown yeah. epiphanies? Well, it just makes you really best thing. So, yeah. wait, I, I so thought this is going to be slower. What's that? <laughs> um, um, it makes you really best thing, which is just going to touch it. I'm not but I'm just going to slow up. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether it's your connection or mine, but it's a bit like. Okay. For you. Okay. Maybe I'm, I'm the same. I'll try to. I'll try
uh, Jasmine. Jasmine. For a second. Hi. Hello. Hey, hey. sorry, I was just talking to myself for a bit. Same here. I don't know who we're going to be. Well, um, we'll find out on, on the uh, IGTV later. <laughs> which no. one froze kind of, and which kind of, one didn't. Huh? I think I'm echoing quite a lot. I think I'm echoing quite a lot from your laptop. Um, do you have any um, headphones? Um, I, you've got, I've got, I'm echoing a fair bit. No, like, no, like, I can hear my echo, echo on your laptop. You can hear your echo on my laptop, okay. Let me try... Head, head, it doesn't matter if um, you have headphones. Um, I, don't, I don't have headphones, but... Does, is That's this okay. Any, That's okay. Is that, is that better? The, the, the most important the most thing important is your... Thing is your okay. Yeah, so, is that so. any better for you? It's, it's, it's just the same, it's just I don't mind. It's your point. It's your point. Yeah, I mean, if, it, if it's echoing for other people, then just let me know um, if that makes sense. I'm going to keep it here for mine. now. I'll try and do it in mine. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Cool. Okay. Um, cool. Can you um, take it um, up for the point? Take it up for the point? Yeah, let's do it. Um, okay, yeah. Um, I'm going to... <laughs> You don't know where to look when you're like doing poems from memory, right? And then yeah. like you look towards yeah. the camera and there's information there and it's like, what? Ah, ah no, don't look, don't think of the poem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, that, that's just my little share. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to do this one um, because it's only echoing when Matt speaks. Ha! Sucks to be you. <laughs> nice one. Um, Ian says I'm clear, that's good. Okay, I've got to stop looking at that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought I'd do this poem, which is um, my only Donald Trump poem, and I've got to perform it as many times as I can before November, when hopefully it becomes irrelevant, right? <laughs> right? Right? We'll see, hopefully. Um, so that means I've got, to perform, <laughs> I've got to perform it as many times and just get as much mileage of it as I can. So basically in this poem, I went on the internet had a look at um, um, at quotes from 20th century vintage adverts. You know, the ones I'm talking about, like the perfect housewife, buy this product, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and then I, I also went on the internet and had a look at Donald Trump quotes. Um, <laughs> and I, I put the two together. So I kind of, I put my hand over here which you can't see. And usually I put it here, but you can't see that, so I have to put it here. This is cramping my style. I can't do this now. Um, so <laughs> put my hand over here, like one of the emojis. Um, I've got to stay on topic, Jazz. So <laughs> put my hand over here, um, and that'll be a vintage advert quote, all right? And if I put my hand over here, it'll be something that Donald Trump said. And I'll separate each quote with a clip. That sound good? Perfect. 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 Nice. Perfect wife. Ideal woman. Good girl. Honey bunch. Women are soft and gentle. I think women are beautiful. Every woman wants to look better. I really understand beauty. I do own Miss Universe. I mean, I own a lot of different things. Indoors, women are useful, even pleasant. For a man to be successful, he needs support at home. It's nice to have a girl around the house, just like my father had for my mother. Putting a wife to work is a very dangerous thing. Keep her where she belongs. Every husband wants his wife to be feminine, and I think certain women are more beautiful than others. Girls with too much bottom and too little top is hard to be a 10, okay? A person who's flat-chested is hard to be 
feminine. Cigarettes are like women. There are basically three types. The best ones are thin and rich, and she is not. Lost her boyfriends because of facts. What does she weigh? The first thing I noticed was that fat, ugly face of hers. Society simply won't stand for her. Miss Piggy, plain Jane, horse face, skinny dame, dog, slob. Look at that face. Look at her. Take a look. Is it always illegal to kill a woman? They are far worse than men. Do you still beat your wife? You have to treat them like shit. Keep her where she belongs. Keep her at home. Keep her more beautiful than others. I do own that face. If she doesn't give it to you, grab them by the pussy. Get it yourself. When you're a star, they'll let you do it. Don't wait. Just kiss. Is it always illegal? I think women are beautiful. No one loves women more than I do. These days, I think it's a very special time. I think it's very, very good for women. Oh, okay, that's that one. <laughs> That was immense. That was immense. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know what, Matt? It's actually really nice to like perform this to a face. <laughs> like, I know it's weird. Like, yeah, because on yeah, Zoom, on Zoom, it's on Zoom, it's on Yeah, sometimes like exactly like it's just you're just performing to your own face, or like even Insta Live when it's just you, it's just your face. Um, and then like, or, or a laptop and your keyboard, and you've got to pretend your keyboard and little audience members in. <laughs> but like, here, like, I was trying to not look at the camera, but I looked at the camera and you were like, <laughs> it was great. Know, it was a human interaction. I haven't had that for like, what, six months? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Good. You get lots of little love hearts and hearts as well. As well. Oh, that's really, that's really cute. This is lovely. It's so nice. Hey guys, it's it's just so nice. Hi, hi. It's it's cool. It's it's, it's wicked. Yeah. Oh gosh, man. It's uh, yeah. How 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 do you find like Instagram lives? Because you've done this like week after week now. So are you quite yeah? It's chill. Because I'm still like, you know what I mean. Well, it's well, much easier it's for much me. Easier for me. Because, because I'm just, I'm just and I get to know great poetry. Great poetry. It's true. Um, I do get nervous. I do get nervous. But, you know, it's, you know it's, I've been doing it for months and months now, so I'm not going to kill them. Yeah. It's important it's to keep important that to keep that you're right now. Like, what, like, like the, um, the, the, the performance or the, the, the live bit or the, the outward bit. That, um, um, the sort of stimulation sort of you get from the learning, learning. Yeah. and the interaction. Yeah, yeah, I just think yeah, it's right. important. I, I feel the same. I completely feel the same. It's like that kind of, oh yeah, we're here. Like, it's just, I don't know. Uh, I've been feeling like relatively creatively blocked just because there hasn't been like the goings on that there normally are, if you get me. You tend to write tend a lot. To write What's that? Like you, see like you, see, you see something at a gig and you're like, mm, you know, do you want to write? Do you want to write? Yeah, and you're like, Ooh. or like you just feel like, oh, right. And then you know there's going to be an event coming up, so you're like, oh, oh, there's something. So that's why I actually really appreciate this gig because before I'm like melting in my own stagnant nothingness. And then like, you're like, oh, would you like to do the gig? And I'm like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit, I should write a poem for this. And, and you know, so. Uh, yeah, well, which is, well, which is good, cool. Good. I'm glad. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping I'm that I'm hoping to be Just a nice little chill, 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 chill. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Cool. I'm very conscious, I'm very of, conscious my, of my, my of the time. So, I just looked at the time, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm going to no, yeah, stop no, yeah. making conversation. What is this? Is it a gig? Is it an interview? Is it a chat? No, we don't mean it. Okay. Hey, Kate. Catherine O'Driscoll, what's up? Um, thanks for joining at this particular... T oh, there's two Kates. There's a church Kate and there's a yellow leather jacket Kate. Um, this one specifically, I literally... It's hilarious. Good timing. I want to dedicate this one to her, following very, very interesting and important 
talks and uh, a conversation about who we are on stage and it's okay to be ourselves even if that self is nervous or scared or anything like that just want to check how my lighting is because i realize the sun is going down and that's my only light but i have an emergency lamp so if i need one let me know am i okay i think you look great i think yeah. you look great yeah <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, also, just want to shout up uh, the the um, feedback circle. Joelle is um, running a feedback circle, and I, I tried this one out uh, yesterday um, for the first time ever. And I'm like, oh, thank goodness, I was able to um, do this one for the first time next. This is I've been basically working with um, a wonderful, lovely musician called Ed Eater. Um, with support from Joe at Arts, I've got fun. I had funding to get beatbox sessions so that I could like try and learn beatboxing so that I, I'm illuminated. Thank you, Beth. Um, I've got to stop looking at that. Um, I've, um, yeah, learning like beatbox um, so that I can fuse it with poetry. So this is kind of the first thing that I've done. Um, yeah, so this is the first, obviously this is the first gig I'm doing it at, so I'm like, what? So, <clears throat> Thanks for being its first audience. Um, yeah, okay. Amazing. Amazing. This is for the poets. Or anyone who's had to stand up and speak for the first time. And then every time after that. You know what happens. The way our... The way our... The way our pulse is booming too loud. And the panic is pounding our heads. And the blood is brushing our face. And our body is bottled to still. And our... How our... How our being is blocked by our fear. And they both just blend into one, and the pumping buries our voice. Heartbeat just blurs over all. It's a, it's a, it's a pistol backfired, bashed up button, bursting piper, broken buzzer, blood cells bounce from pulse to pulse and push the bass like pasta, parcel, busy body, brains are bust, our belly boiling black and blue, bolting back the pizza blockers, blitzing blues, all blown apart. We people, we problems, we babble like babies till purple, then play back the blabber, then blubber at bumbles, we perspire and bubble and pull up like paper, we're paupers of blood pressure, pushed in keeping up questions they keeping our silence by our own bodies bound back by the soundtrack of like what are we more of our thoughts or our awkwardness like why talk if we're so mortified when all we get is cortisol and shorter lives like so hard to tell where your ambition starts when there's no end to that ammunition heart of but we can we can we can be them both though right we can be the panic and be the passion we can bring our baggage and bring our best still be the broken and be the breakthrough be the bullied, then bite the bullets, embrace the beat, play the beat, be the beaten, and then be the beat, beat the bar, and then be the bar, be the battlefield, breathe and broader, we big bangs, we bag pipes, we boom boxes, blueprints, we pupils of purpose, we black belts in backbone, be berserk, be bloody, bombard, perplex, be bold, be bare, be boss, be bitch, be proof, be prone, be proud, be pro, be beast, be boast, be pissed, be pushed, be better, be be poets. Okay. 
I'm, I'm gobsmacked. That was, was incredible. incredible. <laughs> Thanks so much for being the first audience for it. And people are being really nice. In the comments. Just, just. Oh, oh. oh mate. Thanks. This is a nice moment. No, thank you. <laughs> that was that was phenomenal. No. Oh, I really appreciate like, that. Like, it's like it was like. Sorry, like, 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 I was just. It's like first sharing jitters. You know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, that was like something between like Kate Tempest and David J. Like it was just, just phenomenal. I don't know David J. Um, they call him the Vulcan. He does lots of things. I'll send you a link. Send you a link. Just gonna write that, that down. Was... That's all right. David J. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. That was appreciate immense. That. that was immense. Oh, man, I really appreciate that you like that. <laughs> Whoa, it's a, it's a like a, it's a like a, I'm just getting my oxygen back in the brain, it's good. Oh, I think I'll, I'll master the breathing eventually, but it's, yeah, um, oh man, I really, I really, I really like that you like that, thank you, thank you. Oof. Honestly, watch it back, watch it back. I know it might, it, it feels weird, 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 it feels <laughs> yeah. Gosh, it's um, hot in here. Um, Is it hot for you? It's very hot in here. It's hot for you. Hot for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to tell us? Do you want to tell us? Oh, tell us. oh mate. Yeah. <laughs> um, Hertz is um, um, it's my debut pamphlet from Verb. Uh, Hertz. Um, it's spelled H U R T Z. <laughs> um, it's basically set in a world where we've done it we found a way to measure pain like you know and, and it's in hertz obviously so matt for example you might be like 100 hertz oh i'm 150 so suck it you know <laughs> so that idea of like can pain exist on a scale because i think we do that i think we, we try to we, we try to classify things and then hierarchy them if that makes sense um and i think that's that's interesting and um like what does that do when we try and really get very obsessed about categorizing pain um and then every pain has a color attached to it we both know that pain well color is a spectrum right so you know so um for example, Matt, what I mean, this is a personal question, but what, what kind of pain were you feeling today? What colour pain were you feeling today? Any, 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 don't worry, you can share with me. I promise um, I'll, um, I'll listen. Yellow. 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 Oh, Matt, I feel your pain. I feel your yellow. I see it. I see your pain. I am feeling... <clears throat> Lemon chiffon. Yeah, you've probably never heard of it. Basically, just because you wouldn't know, the exact point uh, of it on the cheesecake is basically lemon chiffon. When the topping becomes cream, right? The delicate balance of gratefulness and resentment. E.g. when the Subway staff member kindly fills up your carbonara pot pasta with hot water without charging you anything but puts too much hot water in it way over the fill line, idiot. And now it's diluted and they've ruined it. They've ruined it. Sorry about your yellow. <laughs> yes. Um, I quite enjoyed doing that. <laughs> like, um, asking people to divulge their colour and then I'm like, mm, well, I've got a more complex colour. It's a little more hipster than yours. So, like, that's quite fun to do with an audience. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I realised the time. Like, I can do, like, one poem from this if that works. Yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd I mean, be, I mean, it doesn't matter, 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 yeah, um, I mean, ooh, blah, blah, blah. I'll do, I'll do, um, I'll do a little thing, um, okay, okay, I'll, I'll just ask people what they're, what colour they're feeling today, and then I'll just completely invalidate them. And then I'll finish on. Um, <laughs> does that work? If, does anyone in the comments want to tell me 
their uh, colour that they're feeling today? Burgundy. Hmm. See now, Kate has read the pamphlet and knows that that's not a colour I can respond to. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, Kate, I'm so sorry you're feeling burgundy. Oh, I see your pain. Blah, 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 blah. I am feeling... <clears throat> Coquelicoat? Yeah, you've probably never heard of it. Coquelicoat is basically the thinking man's red. Or the thinking man's burgundy, I should say. The feeling when everyone else finds something funny and you don't. It's the shade of a wedgie. Yeah. Okay, we've got some more colours. I see um, Talia said purple. Ah. Purple, I'm so sorry, Talia. Um, I am pe uh, feeling purpureous. Yeah, you've probably never heard of it. Basically, it's Purple's long-awaited sequel. It's sophomore effort. It's the pain of dairy milk. One that sits in your fridge, that you grab at at night, but resist during the day. Sorry about your purple. Um, and I saw blue. So we'll do blue. Was it? Was it? Um, blue. Ian, Ian. Who said blue? Ian, make it Ian, Ian, Ian. I see you. I don't see you, but I see your blue. I see your pain. I'm. I see it. I. I mean, thanks for asking. <clears throat> I am feeling <clears throat> cerulean. Yeah, you've probably never heard of it. Basically, cerulean is like blue, but like so deep, you might not get it. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. Um, <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so that's, it's hilarious doing that like this here. Um, okay, um, I, I'll just end on um, one. I mean, like, I'll just end on a, a short one that works. Because yeah, of time. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Wicked. Um, time, whatever, whatever. Nice one. Um, I mean, there's, there's poems in. Uh, yeah, you, you, it is available from verbs.press.com. Uh, so um, that's that's cool for you. Um, there are some interesting. I kind of explore certain poems, uh, certain colours or feelings in here. So burgundy is an interesting one. I explore bisque, which is off white. Um, um, so check it out if you want. I'm just going to end on this one, which is the final poem um, and it feels relevant right now basically um because of because of just everything there's a lot to fear right now right there's a lot to fear so i just want to offer this to you guys um especially when we can't see our everything for the pain or we can't see what's our fear and what's real right um, this one's called Natural Phenomena. Are you watching a dazzling sunset? Or your heart sink over the horizon? Is that a rainbow? Or your regret bending over the sky? Is it a foggy morning? Or can you not see through your grief today? Are you taking a photo of the northern lights? Or is that your loneliness writhing overhead? Is it really an overcast day? Or is that just your self-loathing blocking the sun? Walk into it. That's it. It's a really pretty book as well. It's it's just great. I kind of like to do do that, <laughs> so, and then ha ha ha. And yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, this um, was, um, thank you so much for giving time, time and yeah. showing you work and the premiere. And the premiere. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. Absolutely wow. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Um, um, I'm just really glad to have done this. Really, like it feels like gigging a bit, and I'm just really, really grateful for that. 
because it's it's what we need is a bit of a life force this live element this gig this community these beautiful people who are like who've tuned in and the same nice things you know um so thanks so, thanks for doing this like weekly man it's ridiculous it's ridiculous it's crazy uh, it, it sort of got me to lock down um i really enjoy it so yeah we've got some yeah, we've got some yeah, right. We do. Gosh, it's it's there. It's it's oh gosh, man. And it's gonna be stronger. Come back stronger than ever. You know, when when we can meet again in person. Uh, I hope. Yeah. 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 Well, this is nice. Else yeah. Right. Hopefully, like, gosh, man. It's it's just weird, like projecting into the future, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much, Matt. Uh, this was this was lovely. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Take care. I'll catch you soon. Okay, how do I leave? <laughs> um, wow, that was Jasmine Gardot. Phenomenal. Um, that, uh, the beatboxing poem premiere, I'm so uh, honoured that she shared that with us in, in tonight's session. So please check out Jasmine's pamphlet, Hertz. Uh, it's available via Verve Poetry Press. Um, and all independent local bookshops will be able to order it in as well. Give her a follow. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name's Matt Abbott. We are Nims and Thugs. We'll be back next week with potentially our first ever transatlantic guest. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for tuning in and for your lovely comments. And I shall see you all soon.